this. So, you know, I'm just cleaning out the looting bag, the death storage with this. We will get 76 herb lore, uh, which will allow us to plus one boost with a uh, Greenman's Ale, a very easy to obtain herb lore boost uh, to make stamina potions. We can make magic potions now, but um, those provide decent XP. Uh, let's see. You need Lanta Diamond Potato Cactus. So I guess it's an incentive to actually grow Lanta Dime from this point on. But Potato Cactus aren't that quick in obtaining, so I don't know if that's really worth it, but yeah. Um, oh yeah, I guess I have to go obtain the Imkamdu Hammer again because a recent update made it storable on the POH. So I guess I'll go grab that again, even though it's useless. All right, there's the uh, Imkamdu Hammer repaired once again. And I think what I'm going to do now is um, still going for a bunch of stuff in the house. Uh, let's see how many items I actually have in here because. I might have to upgrade it soon. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay, we're nowhere near sixteen, seventeen. We're nowhere near the limit. So what I'm gonna do is, um, this tribal outfit that I got a while ago. They made it storable a while ago, like I said in the video eons ago. So I'm going to go for it now, and instead of actually doing Talby Wano cleanup, the actual strategy for doing that, what I found out uh, thanks to Leagues, is um, all you do is, since we still have the pickaxe on us, you take out your chisel and you go to, um, you go to Gem Rocks at uh, Shiloh Village, that actually is the best source of getting trading sticks uh, because with the Karamja Gloves 3 equipped, which I guess I'm going to go get, with those equipped, um, you can sell stuff for more and buy stuff for less trading sticks. Uh, and the cut gems sell for quite a lot. And not a lot of people in the main game actually sell gems for trading sticks. They actually use them to make jewelry so we're gonna do that in total let's see how many trading sticks do we need for the villager outfit um villager clothing there's four sets there's four sets uh, i don't know Probably a lot, but other than that, other than getting the clothing, I guess at the same time, I should knock out the 5,000 trading sticks needed to unlock the shortcut to Metal Dragons, and then I won't have to get trading sticks ever again. So, yeah, I might as well do that. Alright, so I just made, I mean, I just accumulated all the trading sticks necessary for buying all the villager outfits, and... I did unlock unlock the um, Brimhaven Dungeon rope entrance, and this is where it leads you to aggressive bronze dragons, which eliminates the need for an axe to get access to the metallic dragons, and it's decently close to a fairy ring, so um, pretty much worth it because... Uh, the metallic dragons in the Karend dungeon have higher health, and let's see how far away those are. Uh, that's not too bad, but there's also no steel dragons there, right? Doesn't look like it. So, yeah, I guess it has a use, and the 5,000 sticks honestly aren't that annoying to get. Um, all you do is you mine the semi-precious gems at the mine and you sell them with your karamja gloves and you get quite a bit honestly more than you would playing the mini game normally which is going against things but whatever um but yeah um 
I guess for now I'm going to do... I still need the Dragon Axe and the, and the Stash, so I might do a bit of Barrows to um, get the armor, whatever I feel like doing, honestly. Play it by ear. Okay, that's not too bad, even though we had uh, quite a lot of Banshee kills on our way to trying to get that Vampire task originally. We finally got the Dark Mystic Gloves, um, so now I gotta get some Dragon Hide crafted. And we will, the next target of ours, I uh, can't really, can't really um, show it, but uh, the Infernal Mages that are um, up one more level in the Slayer Tower, they drop both the hat and the boots, and they use magic, so I'm going to go to Lumbridge, and I'm going to, um, I'm going to go to Lumbridge, get my anti-dragon shield, and then, um, stab a couple black dragons and then use that dehyde to uh, protect myself from uh, the infernal mages and the infernal mages they drop both the hat and the boots at a rate of 1 in 512 so hopefully we expect to finish this in 512 kills um, and then once we get that we'll be able to take out the dark mystic top and bottom by themselves, store the other items in the house, and then we'll be able to, basically, we'll be able to get the, um, we'll be able to get the, uh, imbued Ibn staff out on command, and then we can store the mystic top and bottom inside the house, so we can use other armor, more tanky armor for barrows and other such mage, um, other such maging bossing activities, we can do that. But yeah, uh, let's go. Let's go get that. All right, that's one more to go. Uh, Eighty-one kills in. These things hit surprisingly accurately for a uh, monster of their combat level, even at um, probably at like one twenty magic defense right now. I mean, yeah, my magic level's lowered from the dragon battle axe special, but uh, yeah, and their drops suck like. Let's take a look at that drop table. 111 magic attack, and these things hit up to 8, and they're quite accurate, so uh, prayer pots are almost a necessity here. Alright, that wasn't too bad. Um, only took me 166 kills to get both the um, dark mystic boots and the mystic hat, so I can now make the master stash. The Ivan staff, I think, is 600k. To imbue and we have to do that again as we dropped it after the medium diary um but yeah and then the stash itself costs like over 140k so it's a big investment but um we'll be able to sell the blood runes from barrows the chaos runes and we can high elk any useless barrows piece like carol's koi for crossbow or stuff like that I'm glad I did that. Uh, did a beginner clue from the uh, clue bottle I got from Fishing Minnows, and I got Best in Slot Fashionscape uh, Mole Slippers. They're honestly really cool looking. <laughs> um, but yeah, these go in the house, and I honestly don't have too many beginner clue rewards, but yeah. Nice. Second one of the account, uh, I guess let's open this elite clue I got from Barrows, and hope to be disappointed from it. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty much what I expected. Bunch of alkables, dragonstone bracelet, useless planks that I'm going to drop. Well, I could use them to construct the master stash, but I can, I can really get those at any time. Uh, no uniques. Yeah, that's to be expected. I missed the uh, chest interface because of the monster attacking me, but Torag's hammers <laughs> took me 46 chests, 43 after the helm to get not arguably, uh, definitely one of the worst Barrow's rewards. Um, Somebody did the math, and I think they're, they definitely aren't wrong. Um, the Torag's Hammers, with the new update to 
Warhammers, um, them being slightly stronger and only requiring strength to wield. The Rune Warhammer and a Dragon Defender has been calculated, I think, to be more DPS than Torag's Hammers. So these are a lovely 96k Alk. Holy shit, they're almost near Alk price, so that's a no-brainer, so more money. There we go. We're now ranked on the Barrow's high scores for you, I am, and we were rewarded with a Guthin's chain skirt. I guess, let me show you the base stats with the tooltips. We'll go away with the Curious, because what, it's a prayer bonus of like, uh, what is it, six? But yeah, um, 75. We do get some slight negative magic defense and um yeah recently they made it so that the barrow's legs have a greater negative ranged attack bonus so it's the same negative ranged attack but yeah so much more better for um tanking and if we happen to finish guthans as our first set um I am not opposed to storing that and using the Guthin Spear as a weapon on the Spinal Lips to help sustain ourselves in a hunt for a Dragon Axe. I am not opposed to that at all, so very nice item to get. Three items in, 50 kill count, it's 1 in 14 for any unique, so I'm still slightly unlucky, but I'm not going to complain just yet. Now... We just need a tank top, and I feel really comfortable with tanking uh, the Spinal Lips. Alright, there's my fourth item, Torag's Helm. So, if I actually kept the hammers, that would have been halfway to my complete first Barrow's set. And stat-wise, you get minus one magic, magic defense, and six more ranged defense over the Varex Helm, and you also lose out on that prayer bonus. So, really not the best item to get. I'm probably not going to keep it. There's, there's really no use case for it. It's just six more ranged defense, and you sacrifice the prayer. It's just a bad item. And it's, you know, while it's concerning and sad that this would be halfway to my first barrow set it's just a garbage item and it's definitely not worth keeping in um the stash unit at barrows although I, I would say that the torag's plate body or the plate legs would be worth keeping but the helm and the hammers hell no that's getting out all right here's another elite from barrows let's see what we get well you know, elites are pretty shit, but at least, um, shit, if I got 40k more agility XP, I could use those to, um, knock out the Ardone Elite Diary. I'm one level off, so, I, I don't think I'm gonna use them. <laughs> I, it's, agility's decently quick anyway, and you get money from it, so that I don't really see the need to. Oh, anyway. Back to Barrows. There we go. Uh, 83 kills into Barrows, and we got a very good item that we definitely will keep. The Arum's Robe Skirt. Um, guess let me show you the stats. It's plus 22 magic attack, and then a little bit of defenses, and then 22 magic defense. Um, I do want to keep this as our... Um, magic gear isn't the best but another reason why i want to keep it is because uh a we've got plenty of looting bag space right um b it's a great item c uh recent it's it's an update that's coming in the future should balance come into effect um full arms well specifically the arm staff it's one of the few stabs kodai will be able to Skull Scepter will be able to. That's a really weird one. It's one of the few stabs that will be able to auto cast the new Arceus spells. They are oriented around 
at least the combat ones that would be cast with the staff, they're oriented around doing extra damage to demons. So, I don't know. It might be a decent staff to use at, um, shoot, maybe, uh, the gorillas? I know most people, um, melee and range them, but, I don't know. Um, but, other than that, I guess it would be good at maybe Mage Slayer on, like, Blood Belts, uh, Hellhounds if they count. I don't know. Um, maybe even Mage Cerberus could be a thing now, but that's... That's, like, really asking for a lot, but we'll see. I'll keep it, um, and hopefully I can get more than one of the items in this grind. Okay, so I'm on the beta worlds. I'm trying to test out the new spells. Um, they do more damage to demonic targets, and like I said, the arm staff auto-casts them. So let's turn that on, and... This will reduce the damage from demons. Hopefully that includes Krill. And as for what to protect, um, I guess melee would be the best. Krill hits really hard. I did not bring any of the grabbing spells to lock them in place, and I did not bring any combo eating food. So this is just hoping it hits decently well. And the protection works decently well, so let's do that. And turn on protect ranged at first. And then protect melee. Mark him. Oh, that didn't last too long. I'm we gonna attack him. Wow, look at the splashes. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be too good at Krill. We just splashed every hit in full arms. We'll try it again, but that was pretty rough. Alright, let's try this again. Maybe last time was a fluke. Um, I brought the runes for Undead Grasp this time, so... Ward of Arceus. Demon oh, you can auto-cast Undead Grasp. Okay, that's... That's interesting. And we're going to do protect melee. Oh, that's right. We're going to do protect melee. I have no idea what the krill strat is for um, kiting him, but let's try it again. That didn't grasp him. Try that. It doesn't seem like we're hitting Krill. Oh, we finally hit him. Hit 12. Oh, that poison hurts. I don't know. This Krill Strat does not seem to work. Uh, so I don't know what this is intended for. Like, demons that already have, like, a low defense? I mean, Krill is supposed to have a low defense, so... No idea. I don't even know if we hit with that demon spell. <laughs> like, does Krill count? <laughs> Not very accurate against him. Oh, uh, well. Maybe I'll make up my mind on what I actually want to keep for Barrows now. Alright, so I'm testing the spells in one last location where I think they'll actually work the best. Um, Cerberus and Krill have really high magic defenses, so it doesn't really work too well against them. Uh, regular demons basically have no defense at all, and this is shared with demonic gorillas. Uh, the only other boss demon, I guess, would be, um, Abyssal Sire, and you need shadow spells to subdue him so you can hit the tentacles. Otherwise, you have to do a decent amount of magic or range damage to subdue him. Um, Gargoyles in RS3 are actually classified as demons, but they aren't in old school, so 
let's see what we can do against demonic gorillas now um uh you can't get arc light in beta worlds so you can't get it very easily it's not on the supply table so let's see how it fares against tortureds why won't it let us attack um are you serious are you serious this is a d well i mean it's a monkey but the what are these spells meant for like like i said every okay so it works against demonics but not uh, okay um so we cast this spell against him so we hit higher i think um So it doesn't work against tortures. Interesting. Still splash though. I was maxing 42 on um, black demons so I guess this would be useful here even then it's <sighs> could be better you get 25% extra accuracy um, I forget what arms does exactly but And the that this spell, the Ward of Archaeus, is supposed to reduce damage taken against demons. But we still seem to be splashing quite a bit, and I thought these had little defense to speak of. So that's something for my records, but I don't know if I'll be actually keeping arms, but we might as well keep it for the magic attack bonus. But definitely not for the demon bane. It's just weird. Hard clue. Of course. Oh well. I guess I'll just let myself die. Okay, so on my 100th Barrow's Chest, I was rewarded with a Guffin's Helm and an Elite Clue, a nice, healthy, I don't know why that's displaying 89, oh, because I've got it in high Elk value, but I was rewarded with a Guffin's Helm and an Elite Clue. Let's see if I can even start this Elite Clue. Okay, troll-wise, I'll take that. Um, but yeah, the Guffin's Helm provides the same defensive bonuses as the Torax Helm, but it also comes with the <coughs> it comes with the benefit of when wearing the full set, you actually get a rewarding set effect where you can have a chance to heal. So it's definitely a worthwhile helm worth keeping, especially since we're two out of four and this is our closest Barrows set we have complete at the moment, which is needed for the stash unit so and you know I've got plenty of bag space like I can pretty much fit almost every useful Barrows item in there honestly so yeah so I got my first duplicate item I got the duplicate Guthin's Helm now these are worth a decent bit but I pay for my membership using my uh, debit card I don't really care for the whole bond idea so, 
I'm going to go ahead and high alk it for 60k. Who cares about stimulating the economy with the main when you can just high alk things for money? All right, there is our tank body, the Torax plate body. Now, like I said, if we kept our Torax items, we would be three out of four in Torax completion. So let's compare the stats of the Torax plate body and what it provides. So let's drop a shark, store our proselyte in the house. And the Torax plate body provides a 122, I'd say an average of like 122, 125 um, defenses. It's very, very, very tanky. And this will be excellent gear for tanking Dagonoth Kings and the Spinalips. So let's see just how tanky we are. Even though our gear is mismatched, we have a 297 ranged defense and ranged defense is what the spine ellipse will uh you know what the range defense you know that protects us from the spine ellipse as they use ranged attacks so this is a very wonderful setup for dagonoth kings but i will continue until i get a full stash of uh you know a unique barrow set inside the stash still no darox still no carols and we're still only one barrows weapon from the barrows chest so let's continue barrows uh that was our 114th chest got another torax helm so that's another high alk uh 60k whoopee come on it's not really valuable who cares alk that shit are you serious Really? That's another back-to-back. -back. Another back-to-back -back helm. Oh my god, that's my third Torax helm. This is... Uh, I mean, I'm lucky for Barrow's items, but lucky in the wrong places, of course. The helm curse continues. I know I really shouldn't be alking these because they're decently expensive, but it's just... Why do I have three of the same <laughs> Uh, look at this. Look at this. It's like barrows. Look. Like literally within two chests. And then that one was within two chests. And then the other Guffin's Helm was yesterday. So. Oh well. There we go. There's another unique. I guess with this I can finally ditch the um, Guffix Dehyde chaps. They're 256k. But. Um, Carol's Leather Skirt provides the same ranged attack bonus as those chaps, but um, the Carol's Leather Skirt provides a um, magic defense of 35, ranged defense of 33, um, uh, same offensive bonus as the Black Dehyde Shacks while offering slightly higher maged and ranged. Okay, so the melee defense is slightly lower, but they are nerfing Black. They are nerfing Black Dehyde to not as much, not as much as Carol's Leather Skirt. But I don't know. Um, the leather top is definitely worth. Uh, because most people pair the Carol's leather top with the barracks legs, but I'll bag it, definitely. I've got plenty of space. Well, another day, another helmet. That's right, man, barracks helmet on kill count three and on kill count 153. <laughs> I should honestly just alk the, uh, the, um, half damaged helm that way I'll get the uh, money out of it and I can use this one <laughs> that's crazy man 
Awesome. Our luck's turning around. Uh, we got our second pair of unique plate legs, that being the Darok plate legs. These actually provide a defensive bonus a little bit greater than Guthans, although the magic attack is lower. But Barrows, you won't splash if you're... Um, you won't splash at Barrows if you're, uh, so long as your magic attack doesn't reach the splashing threshold. So we're gonna slap these on. Um, I guess, uh, I guess make the armor repair stand in the house and then repair these and throw these in the bag. Um, because these will provide more defense at uh, Dagonoth Kings and it's also the more preferable armor uh, for storage in a stash unit. So yeah, I'm gonna go do that now. That's what I'm talking about, man. Barracks Brass. All right, now. While the uh, the Darox one is worth keeping, um, we do get a plus five prayer bonus with um, this. You get a little bit less defense because you know you are you are missing you know, most of the chest region for defenses, but, um, the prayer bonus of five, uh, and no negative magic or ranged attack at all, it's a fairly decent, uh, it's a fairly decent top, and you, um, you also, you get no magic, uh, negative magic defense, so it's, it's pretty good, um, we're, we're gonna repair oh this is a Torax plate body that's right it's not Darox so it's not too much of a loss to um, store this in the back and if we were to go to DK's we'd still have 256 range defense um I don't know uh actually my prayer bonus is looking quite good right now for um my prayer bonus is quite good right now for uh, Dagonoth Kings and arrows so I'm probably just going to toss the brassard in the bag because um, defense is more important than prayer at Dagonoth Kings so yeah I'm gonna go do that um, I don't know if the full barrack set is great for anything but the most valuable pieces are the helmet and the legs um, and then most people pair that with the Carol's top for very good hybrid defense and the the, the top isn't anything to you know, write home about. It's it's basically almost its ALK value, so I guess that tells you its actual use. But yeah, um, time for more Barrows. All right, we got another complete elite from Barrows. Let's see what we get. Again, no uniques, but eh, whatever. Alkables. Um, Dragon Necklace isn't really useful. I could bag it, but... Zolcano gives so many uh, uncut dragon stones, it's not worth hanging on to. But, um, yeah, more summer pies that I won't be using. Alright, now we're two out of four complete on the uh, Barrows grind for full Darox, which is the preferable set to have in the house. We now have a matching top for the Darox plate legs. We have the Darox plate body. It gives the same exact defenses as the Torax plate body, and um, it's ten times more useful with the set effect. So now we just need the helmet and the axe, and we can store it in the house. Now, uh, if you're keeping track, we've got two out of four of Darox, we've got two out of four of Guthin, and two out of four of Darox. Um, yeah, so pretty average luck there but we still are a little spoon fed on chests we're 196 with 3 6 7 8 9 10 11 13 14 15 16 16 times 16 is two fifty six. so yeah we're we're a little spoon fed but no matter and i can just high alk this Torag's plate body, which would bring us to, you know, no items owned for Torag's anymore. But it is a, it's a 168k alk, whether it's fully repaired or not, so wonderful.
All right, so I got an elite clue and it required a fire battle staff. Now I want to talk about the use case of the stash unit of the fire battle staff. So um, this requires lava battle staff, sorry, not fire, lava battle staff, black dragon hide, van braces, and a mind shield. So this is a very good stash if you were to camp a monster like uh, skeletal wyverns or the ones in the fossil island. Also, um, you could take the Lava Battle Staff, wear the Black Dragonhide Van Braces, and then wear like the Constructor's Outfit and do Mahogany Homes with this. And then your offhand, instead of the Mind Shield, you would just drop that and reobtain it later. Your offhand would probably be the Tome of Water from Temporos, something I would probably do. Um, probably drop the Tome of Fire and then get the Tome of Water. And then you can use every single teleport spell so long as you have air runes in your rune pouch so that way you don't have to go to dust devils when you're running low on dust runes you just use the lava battle staff and you can teleport anywhere so really really good um, so now I just gotta go grab the mind shield and craft some black dragon hide van braces and I can possibly finish this elite clue otherwise it's a wonderful stash to store the items in for later alright I completely missed that because of the combat interruption but we got the, uh, basically the best magic top in the game, not counting Ancestral, you know, we have to go, that's a long ways away get going for Ancestral, so, um, yeah, the magic attack bonus of both the top and the bottom are quite good, a huge improvement over, um, a huge improvement over... Uh, mystic and um, the arms hood and arms stuff well I initially thought about keeping those we still haven't gotten them and I don't know if I would keep them because the magic attack bonus isn't too great on the helmet and my only the only reason I had for keeping it was the fact that um, you could auto cast the new spells with it, but the new spells don't seem very good at all. Um, they're really quite poor. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and store that in the bag. Uh, got an elite clue to do. Can I even? All right, that's doable. Hopefully, no wilderness or no sled steps, because I. I, I just want to do as many elites as I can do for the mimic track chance. Um, but yeah, I don't, I'm definitely not going to keep the arms staff or arms hood if I get it because it's just not worth it. Um, you either sacrifice two spots in the bag for arms top and bottom, or you sacrifice two inventory spots for the hood and the staff if you're doing like magic pvm because it's just you know um the the blood bark helmet and the blood bark boots actually provide a better magic attack bonus than the mystic ones so other than that the only upgrade from there is infinity so yeah uh gonna keep doing barrows until i get a completed set you know all right, let's open this elite clue that we got with that um, arms robe top loot. Hopefully it's a mimic. Ooh, it's a new unique. Uniques are quite rare from uh, elite clues. That is uh, quite nice. The first of hopefully many uniques from elites. That took us five elites, and um, the Armadale page is just a duplicate because we already have the Armadale book is the one complete book we have so I'll take the top hat um, I would have preferred the only thing I'm really really looking forward to from elites uh, in terms of uniques is other than mimic um, the, the dream is flexing that I have full dragon stored and reclaimable in the house Plate legs are easy. Helmet is the second 
easiest, although not by much, because you have to kill so many Mithril Dragons. And then I'd, I'd go to suffice to say that the plate body is easier. Uh, the third, you know, the third on the list of um, difficult to get or whatever. Tripping over my words here. And then the kite shield is the hardest to get because, I don't know, adamant dragons just take so long to kill. And I think it's actually rarer to get the component to make the kite shield from adamant dragons. Like it's a higher drop rate than the component for the plate body. And you can store that if you get the item and you add it to the uh, ornament kit. Storing a dragon scimitar would be great. Um, from an a kilt, it's a strength bonus, but it's also no defense bonus. Holy wraps, meh. And other than that, I guess the dream would be black, uh, completing a black dehyde gold or trim. Uh, but, you know, they are going to nerf Black Dehyde, so... <laughs> I don't know about that one, but yeah. Oh, you can combine it with a monocle. So I guess if we ever get a duplicate, um, that is something to think about. And sadly, Master Clues are the only tier of clue where you can get... Um, uh, is it Master? I thought it was master, is it not? Let me... No? I think it's elite. One of them, yes. You can store the spectacles that you get from elite clues, but only as a party hat and specs. Oh, and the monocle is stored separately. So, that's two different okay so you can store both the sagacious specs and the party hat and specs and the monocle so i guess that's something we can combine if we ever get that <laughs> but yeah no mimic yet i've been rambling enough i'll see you on the next barrows drop sorry quick little addendum i was wrong the plate body would be the longest to get uh both the dragon components needed to make the plate body and kite shield are the same rarity from both rune and adamant dragons uh but i was just thinking it was rarer from the adamant dragons but yeah the adamant dragons have less health less defenses but you would ideally you would want to go there with like either dragon hunter crossbow or um dragon hunter lance and yeah um So I've been getting lucky again, uh, two bears ago I got the Brasser, that was an elk, and I just now got a duplicate arms robe top, so now we're flooded in chest pieces. Um, the ch arms robe top is one item I probably wouldn't elk, it only elks for 30k, and it is one of the most valuable bearer's items carol's top shares this it's 30k again and it's also quite expensive um for a bearer's item so that's something i would definitely uh drop trade over it being 1.4 mil and it being decently uncommon from bearer's rare or uncommon whatever um so yeah brief trek over the wildy ditch and i should be 1.4 mil richer on the main all right, just uh, finally decided to finish off the um, hard Karen diaries. Uh, the only notable thing from it is just another increased um, double chance of catching fish, namely minnows. So we got six percent instead of I think last it was three. And, ooh, unlimited teleports to Karend Woodland. That's actually pretty good because uh, whenever we do bird nests again, we get the bird's eggs. That's a decently quick way to get there. Um, and the most important thing from Hard is the... You can use your Slayer helmet instead of the Shazen helmet. Awesome. 5% um, increased yield from the patches. Well, I should have done this before. Jesus, 5% isn't bad. 
And the dynamite is kind of useless. Um, yeah. And Derb XP. I'll see you in the next video. Uh, it's just going to be boring. I'm just going to do some fishing for more minnows. And no more barrows in this video. Bye-bye.